Hi and welcome to Waves, where maritime updates are brought to your desktop. Polarcus owned seismic vessel Polarcus Nadia has now entered into production on its first project in offshore Liberia. The contract is under a seismic charter agreement, which Polarcus signed at TGS on December 10, 2009. The survey is being acquired with a 10 streamer seismic array, with each streamer being 7,200 meters long with 100 meter separations between steamers. New Orleans based oil operator Mac Moran Exploration is alleging that an ultra deep exploratory well on the Davy Jones Prospects could be one of the largest discoveries in the Gulf of Mexico in decades. Davy Jones log results confirm our geological model and indicate that the previously identified sands in the Wilcox section on this large ultra-deep structure encompassing four outer continental shelf fleece blocks, thus providing significant additional development potential which, upon confirmation, development drilling could make Davy Jones one of the largest discoveries on the shelf of the Gulf of Mexico in decades. The oil and gas journal quoted Mac Moran Corps Chairman James Morfett as saying, Crew boats have come a long way since a decade ago. Even then, crew boats were already getting larger, with vessels up to 55 meters long being built for the Gulf of Mexico. The larger boats demanded more power, with a shift from six-cylinder 522 kilowatts KTA-19 engines to the larger 12-cylinder 1000 kilowatts KTA-38 M2. In early 2009, CNG Boatworks USA launched the crew boat Gulf Princess for Graham Gulf. At 138 meters, the size of the vessel has not increased so much, but the level of sophistication has. That's all for the news right now. Do log back later on on our website to know about more news making waves. Till then, it's goodbye from the studios.